story time, friends. A is for airplane. Zoom, zoom, zoom. This will be a very special story time because we are at the Kelch Aviation Museum. This is a new museum in Broadhead, Wisconsin. And it has vintage planes dating back to the 1920s and the 1930s. There are some beautiful planes here that we're going to show you. I'm excited to share with you our first book, Planes, P-L-A-N-E-S, by Julie Murray. And I want to thank Abdo Publishing for letting me share this book. Planes fly in the sky, and they move people from place to place. Many people travel by planes. They are used all over the world. Parts of a plane. The front of the plane is called the nose. Hmm, you have a nose, but it doesn't look like this. The back is called the tail. Pilots sit in the cockpit and computers help the pilots fly the plane. The plane's hold is on the bottom, and this is where the luggage is kept. People sit in the cabin. There are seats with TVs and bathrooms. Engines power the plane and the wings help them fly. Planes take off and land on a runway. They have wheels to move on the ground. Airports. People get on and off planes at an airport. Airports are full of people traveling all over the world. So have you been in a plane? There's a lot of different kinds of planes. So let's sing a song about the different kinds of planes. I'm using the book, Go Go Planes. Here's a jumbo jet. Have you ever seen a jumbo jet? A jumbo jet, a jumbo jet. Have you ever seen a jumbo jet flying high in the sky? This one is a prop plane. See the propeller? Have you ever seen a prop plane, a prop plane, a prop plane? Have you ever seen a prop plane flying high in the sky? The next one is a helicopter. You see the blade up on the top? Have you ever seen a helicopter, helicopter, helicopter? Have you ever seen a helicopter flying high in the sky? This one is a seaplane. Ooh, that's different. It has pontoons to land on. Have you ever seen a seaplane, a seaplane, a seaplane? Have you ever seen a seaplane flying high in the sky? Ooh, and this is a sky rider. He does loop de loos and writes words in the sky. Have you ever I've seen, seen a sky rider? A sky rider. A sky rider. Have you ever seen a sky rider flying high in the sky? One of my favorite books about planes is called Flying by Donald Cruz. And I want to thank Green Willow Books for letting me share this book. Do you see the red and white plane? They're boarding the plane. Now it's taxiing to the runway. There goes the green and white plane. Here comes the blue and white plane. Ready? Take off, Woo! here it goes, up into the sky. 
flying over the airport. Flying over the highways. Flying over rivers. Flying over cities. Flying across the country. Flying high over the mountains. Flying into the clouds. Flying over the clouds. But where's the airport? There's the airport with a line of light. Down, 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 down on the runway. Down. And they turn off the engine and they open the door and everyone comes out That was a great trip. Well, where did the red and white airplane go? Where did it land? Right, at the airport. So I mentioned I'm at the Kelch Aviation Museum, but I want you to know that the airport is right outside this museum. So now we're gonna explore the museum with the executive director, Pat Whedon. So let's discover the parts of a plane, like we had in the book, the nose, tail, wings, and wheels. Let's go. Hi, I'm Pat Whedon, and I'm the director at the Kelch Aviation Museum at the Broadhead Airport. And this is one of our airplanes that we have in the museum. We have about 20 airplanes, and all of them are about 100 years old. And the neat part is, is that we still fly it, and it's a lot of fun. This here is the propeller, and it's made out of wood. You can see it, wood and brass, and it's painted up real nice. And that spins around on the front of the engine and makes the airplane go through the air. And over here are the wheels. They look like bicycle wheels, and that's kind of what they are. They got the little spokes in them like your bicycle. And these are the wings. This airplane has four wings, but it's a big wing. It's about 35 feet long, and the bottom one's a little bit shorter. And when the air goes over the wing, when the propeller starts moving and we start going through the air, the air goes over the wing, and it makes what we call lift, like a bird's wings, and it, it makes the airplane fly up in the sky. Here's the two seats. There's a front seat and a back seat, and the pilot actually sits in the back. It's not like a car where you sit in the front. The pilot sits in the back. And then this is the tail of the airplane. This is called the rudder, kind of like on a boat, how you have a rudder underneath. And it just turns a little bit to turn the airplane left or right. And this here is called the elevator, kind of a funny name. But this makes the airplane go up and down. I'm going to show you that in a minute. A little bit better too. Okay, this is the inside of the airplane. This is where the pilot sits. And these are all the different gauges we have to watch. This one tells how high we are. It's called altitude. This one says how fast we're going. It's called airspeed. This one says how fast the engine is spinning and some other things that have to do with the engine. This is the switch, like you'd use the key in your car. That's the on off switch. And then this here is the big important thing. This is the control stick. And this is what we use to steer the airplane. And this controls if we go up, we pull it back. If we go down, we push it forward. If we want to turn left, we move it to the left. If we go right, we turn it to the right. And then I don't know if you can see it, but I've also got little pedals down here where my feet are. And those control the rudder. So if we want to turn to the left, I have to move the stick left and I have to push on the left rudder pedal too. And then with my left hand, this is the, called the throttle over here. 
This controls how fast the engine goes, so it's like the gas pedal in your car.